going to talk about uh, adding brake fluid to your brake reservoir. A um, couple things about before you get started on this. You just don't want to go right away with a Phillips screwdriver to these heads. Um, you might want to first put some penetrating oil of some sort or some, you can get it at any automotive or uh, like a Home Depot, it's called a penetrating oil. Spray a little on those nuts, uh, let them sit for a while. The other trick is when you want to take a Phillips head and prior to doing, you want to take a hammer and tap on the top with the Phillips head on both sides a couple times. What that's going to do is um, that's going to help loosen it. Uh, here's, here's one of the things you can try as well. This is a penetrating oil from Blast. Um, again, like I said, spray a little on each of the heads. You don't need to spray a lot. And, and again, prior to trying to take off the Phillips heads you, or the Phillips screws, again, with a Phillips screwdriver fit, that fits into the grooves, you want to make sure you have a good size, you know, the right Phillips head, and tap on it a couple times on both sides. You can repeat that process several times because what you're trying to do is jar the threads loose that may have come, you know, kind of solidified over time. So when you're actually ready to go ahead and um, remove the Phillips head, I recommend not just, you want to get some pretty decent down pressure on top of the, the Phillips head and then turn as well. Be very careful not to strip off the Phillips head. So again, a good amount of pressure um, put on top of the Phillips screwdriver and then turning easily and slowly until you start to see it release and you should be able to get these heads out fairly easy at that point. The whole reason you're doing this is again is to avoid stripping out the Phillips head, the top of the head of the, on the um, screw itself. Okay, so now that you've got the, the Phillips heads loose, you want to go ahead and just easily remove the cap. Keep track of those, uh, those um, cap and screws. You're going to have a little rubber gasket that's underneath this hard plastic piece here. You want to remove both pieces. Be very careful. And then you're going to expose where the, the oil is. So the, the particular brand, you can use a dot three or a dot four brake fluid. Um, I will tell you, be very careful when you're pouring into this that you don't overfill it. If you do happen to have any of it drip over or go on the outside, understand that brake fluid is a corrosive. So you want to try and wipe that off and rinse it off with some uh, water or warm soapy water as soon as you can to kind of uh, stop the uh, potential of it uh, being eating through some of the paint. So again, just be very careful when you're filling. There's a potential to, to overfill or spill out a little bit. Anytime it spills anywhere, you want to wipe it up right away and wash it off with some clean water, clean soapy water. Uh, once you put more fluid in, you're just going to replace the rubber gasket. Make sure you're putting the uh, cap back on properly to match the rubber gasket that's underneath. Plastic cap, then you're just going to go ahead and re-secure the actual top cap, the metal piece, with the two screws that you removed. And then just simply hand tighten them down. You don't need to over tighten them, you just want to get them good and tight with your hand. And then do both sides, obviously. Get them to a point where they're good and tight. And then again, it's just a hand tightening. You don't want to over tighten these. You just want to get them hand tight and then that's it.